All right, Herc, let's talk snubs. Who's the biggest one on this list or left off this list for you? And why do I have a feeling it's John Brooks? It's John Brooks. Let's just stop making excuses as to why John Brooks isn't on the U.S. men's national team roster. It seems like every time there's a call-up, he's not there. What's the new excuse? It's John Brooks needs to be better with this club team. It's John Brooks needs to work on things we've told him to work on. It's John Brooks isn't on here because I want to see this player. I know what John Brooks offers me. And now this. It seems like there's always an excuse as to why John Brooks can't make your national team. And now you're in a crisis. The U.S. men's national team is in a center back crisis. You can't mince words. That's what it is. And Miles Robinson, who was a de facto starter on your U.S. men's national team, is quite possibly out for the World Cup. Mm. Uh, we don't know when he will come back. Chris Richards is often injured. Mark McKenzie doesn't play. Walker Zimmerman may be your only player there. Cameron Carter Vickers has no experience with this U.S. men's national team. Eric Palmer Brown, very little as well. There happens to be a player that has a wealth of experience, European pedigree experience in the Bundesliga, who at one point was the highest transfer for any American in the world, who happened to score a goal in a World Cup, has World Cup experience. Aaron Long's coming back from a torn Achilles tendon and hasn't played much this season, and you're still talking about other players. You're still making excuses as to why John Brooks isn't part of this. Let's just stop making the excuses. Mm. Give John Brooks an opportunity. Let people see him fail or let people see him succeed or say what it really is.